Captain's Log, Stardate 192.168.1.4. We have been stranded on this strange and hostile world for, uh, must be nearly a month now. And I'm starting to suspect that my science officer is in cahoots with local inhabitants, setting up some sort of strange ritualistic device to communicate, maybe? I shall have to keep my eye on him. Captain, what? I was sleeping here and you placed all of these around me. <laughs> That's preposterous. I would never do anything like that. Just because my inventory is suspiciously empty of all these goods doesn't mean it was me. Why would you think it was me? I think you're trying to set me up, aren't you? Anyway, <laughs> looking on the map, I have to say I have noticed that our pollution stretches further than our sight range. I think this needs to be solved. I think we need electronic surveillance devices everywhere so that we know what is going on. And we do appear to be a little bit short of any sort of electronic surveillance devices. I don't don't know if you agree with me here. Uh, well, we can automate production of radars if you want that. That would be a wonderful. I definitely feel like we could uh, spread our influence. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to pick up these random items on the floor here. That, that, that definitely weren't laid here by me earlier on before I even started speaking. Uh, also, whilst I was having a, a, a look around whilst you were asleep, I noticed that uh, these belts are five wide, but unfortunately our underground belts, if we were ever to have a need to jump across, don't actually connect on this fifth one over here. Well, they only go that's forward. why we're going to connect them like this. Oh, oh, all right. Well, yeah, get get your ideas. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll do that. That sounds plan. Okay, yeah. I mean, we use more underground belts, but we can get this wide as long as we want. I mean, okay, yeah I'll, want. yeah, I'll go with that. All right, uh, this is this is a new system on me. I didn't quite understand it, but as you have explained it, science officer, latest <laughs> research and technologies, I will go with it. Uh, who am I to stand in the way of progress? Who am I? I'm Captain Twitchy. That's who I am. <laughs> well, Captain Twitchy. And don't uh, you forget it. <laughs> yeah, we can start producing the radars. We'd only need iron plates, iron gears, and electric circuits. Iron plates, iron gears, and electronic circuits. Yeah, we can definitely do that. They're like the iron plates get turned into gears anyway. That's no problem. Yeah. Uh, and the, yeah, and then just the circuits. All right, nice, nice. I'm not sure what your plan is for bringing them all together, but I will be waiting with bated breath to see what it will be. Ah, one of these turny round bits. It should bits, be yes. liquid, <laughs> I guess. We we need a name for this. It's like standard mixer alpha or something like that. I don't uh, know. <laughs> merger, merger, belt. yeah. Um, it's yeah. Well, it's, oh, it is a, a merger, but it's a very specific type of merger. You know, it puts them on either I, side. <laughs> combination. It's not even a combo, is it? I don't know. Right, leave me a comment in the comments, guys. What do we call this here? I'm, I'm, I'm stumped for once yeah. in my life. I am left here speechless. That's an achievement, I guess. It is an achievement. It should be written in the game. Oh, server is not responding. That is not oh a great system. Well, subspace all went a little bit weird there, and I jumped around the screen a little bit. Oh, dears. Oh, yeah. It seems like there is some... I am going with a, a passing black hole by messing with the subspace continuum in this area. <laughs> Obviously. I mean, why would you not yeah. think that? <laughs> we do have production of our underground belts, don't we? We do, all the way over here. Let me go and grab a few of them. I'm not sure if me moving around during this time of subspace flux is a great idea, but I'll, I'll go with it anyway. Um, well, these should... now or never, so... <laughs> This is true. All right, let's just load up with what's extra here. If I, if I ever run out of three stacks. Well, no, I, I will eventually run out of three stacks, but I don't think it will happen too soon. It uh, depends. And are you going to run out of three stacks before or after getting robots? <laughs> Pro probably before. I, I can't see three stacks lasting me that long. You're completely right. You forgot about the gears. <laughs> Easy done. That that that's why I'm the man in charge. It's that it's that top level overview that's needed. You know. So how did we do it here? We should just basically copy paste this setup. Oh, of course. We we actually really should. Um, so I've often wondered why not just go ahead and put a whole load of gears onto the bus. But recently I tried that experiment. It's amazing uh -huh. how many gears you need to make to feed the entire thing. It's a lot <laughs> easier just to feed iron plates everywhere that you need gears. Yeah, you're already transporting iron plates. Why just double the efforts? Yeah. Oh, that was the wrong uh, way. Yeah, the blueprint isn't really one-to-one, -one, is it? <laughs> <laughs> it? It'll work. 
it will work. Uh, so this needs to be, which way do we want them lining up? I mean, at home, I always like to do it like that, but I know people don't like that. <laughs> two, two belts feeding into each other. Uh, and this is iron down here. So the radars will help us basically have a larger area of seeing. Yeah. The problem is, I think the natives won't actually like being bombarded with the radio waves. A lot. <laughs> well, I mean, we've had to adapt to a to a climate of constant electromagnetic bombardment. I'm sure they'll do well as well. Evolution is a wonderful thing, and I can't see any way in this game that uh, an evolution rate would come along and, and do us a bad. So <laughs> we're, we're, we're definitely going to go ahead and do that. Okay. <laughs> So getting close so that YouTube doesn't completely destroy the video of what's going on here. There's so many moving parts that I can I can see that the uh, compression algorithm <laughs> really having a trouble with this. Well, I don't know. I mean, you're uploading, so <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not a stream yet. <laughs> yeah, it's it's not a stream. Yeah. Uh, we are running out of iron. Oh yes, yeah, so we are. Iron supplies are diminished. Let's go and have a look and see what the bottleneck here is. Probably the iron supply. Actually, actually, yeah. it's the number of inserters we have. I need a load of iron plates to fix that. Thankfully, we are at the place that iron plates are made. Fixes are inbound. Oh man. Oh, I need another one. And one shot. Of course, you don't have one. I can milk one. Uh, I should have a, a whole bunch more very shortly. Oh, you got it. Cool. Wonderful. All right, this should hopefully have fixed our iron woes, or at least made it the iron ore problem rather than the the smelting problem. Hmm, I think the problem is actually transportation. Yeah, I might be inclined to agree. We're only putting onto like one side of the belt here. I mean, a quick fix for that. I don't think it's going to be too great, but that's a good start. Uh, the, here's the when it's going to go back to one side again. So we'll fix this as well. Yeah, and we can prioritize output. Okay. Oh, oh, this is new for me. How did you do that? <laughs> uh, you click on the splitter. Okay. Literally just. Oh, oh, output priority. Oh, crazy. It's even got a filter. Yes. Oh man. Oh wow. Oh, I'll have to play with that at some point. Learn new uh, things. Uh, well, you what? see, th this is why I use the fl filter option. Oh look at this! I didn't even see you do this. Oh, this is cool. <laughs> this is this is really cool. Awesome. Thank you. We do need to fix. Finally, finish actually putting all of the inserters here. Oh yeah, look at this. Well, thankfully, I also just made a whole bunch of inserters. These are all outputs down here, right? Yep. Captain, you can choose the research. The research. Let's have a look. So so far, we have been doing bullet damage and stuff like that. We got fluid handling. I mean, that's pretty good. Not amazing though. We could get better furnaces. I think we might actually go for the better furnaces. I would agree. That will increase the oh, well, increase the speed of smelting and the pollution. Uh, and and the pollution. That that's fine. That's fine. This is how we make our mark on the world. When the future geologists come along, they will look look at the sedimentary layers and go, "There was a lot of carbon there. That must have been that Captain Twitchy. What a guy. <laughs> what a guy." Well, yeah. I hope they don't find our screaming co bodies. <laughs> uh. I mean, if they do find them, that will be a miracle in and of itself. Uh, I <laughs> Looking for the stone. There's the stone production down there. This this road needs extending. We did run out of and one of the sm uh, miners did run out of coal. So let's just move it, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Well, thankfully, with these miners moving the coal, it means the uh, the Twitchy Memorial Highway can uh, push on through at some point. Uh, where is it gonna lead? To our space bar that we're gonna have off in the distance. Space bar. Okay. Space bar. Yes. Space bar on a planet. Because that's where you have space bars. Technically, the planet is in space, so it is. Yes, it is uh, our spaceship bar, riding us through space. Yes. Unfortunately, we had no no say in which planet we landed on. But it would it would have been nice if we got to pick somewhere with a bit more uh, lush greenery and stuff. But we're <laughs> we're stuck with what we're stuck with. I mean, there is greenery. It's slowly becoming brown as the pollution rises. But yeah, it's greenish. It's greenish. There, 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 is, there is some green here. I, I will live with that. I will live that. If we could uh, have had um, a, a lounge chair and an umbrella, like I, I see a lot of sand and I see a lot of water, but I don't see 
any beach huts or uh, any pina coladas. Where are my pina coladas? I don't know. So, uh, anyway, there, some of the raiders are ready, so you can probably go around and place them. All right, let's go and have a look here. Oh, I got to I got to run all the way up here. This is why this is why the road needs to be fixed because this is a distance. Okay, and there. Ooh, ooh. Fighting fighting with the inserters. I have made my way through. Uh, let's grab a few of those. This is already more than we're ever going to use, but let's go. Uh, so the first thing I want to do is try and extend off over towards this lake here. We're well, going to have power problems. I'm aware of this. I would suggest putting one in the middle of the base, making it square so we can then extend it. Okay, thankfully I can see on my map sort of the range that this extends to. Yes. So if we just kind of find somewhere to place it in the middle. That's not in the way. Gonna be somewhere down with this lot. I would put it right here, it's not oh, around look at the that. Any. Yeah, there's no iron here at all. Surprising. <laughs> uh, let's pop that right in the corner, mainly so it gets power. Okay, so that's good. So press M. I mean, the main the main bonus of the uh, radar is that you get to zoom all the way in on your map and see things in exquisite detail. But if you move to the edge of the radar dome, suddenly you just get like this cartoony vision. Uh, so we need to try and extend it. It's cartoony vision. Uh, it's, okay. No way. Uh, so what what do we have down the end of the memorial? So we need to put one with the power. By the looks of it, definitely need to put one over that way as we did not even get the coverage with this one. Well, apparently these radars are really bad, I guess. Really bad. It's one thing that radar's known for, it's short range. No. Uh, oh yeah, how is our power production, actually? How oh. is our power oh, production? Oh god. <laughs> oh, we're topped out. Beautiful, beautiful. Now, if I remember correctly, we were having trouble extending these out. We couldn't go any further than just two for some reason. Uh, yeah, the steam wasn't enough, so we just then... Throw in some more boilers. Yeah. Do you, you by any chance have any? Uh, I can make a boiler, but not a steam engine. I am much iron short of engines. Making steam engines and boilers. There's a boiler. Grab a pipe, connect it up. Alright, and then we want a few of these... Uh, conveyor belts and a will... burner. I will make a burner. Sir, I have a yeah. Wonderful. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. You suggested a si to research a science that requires blue circuits. A uh, blue. Oh, did uh, I? No, 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 sorry. Blue. Green. 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 Oh, and we haven't done any green. Okay. Yet. We can try and automate that. I don't so know what we need. Whilst we automate that, I'm going to turn up the bullet sp uh, shooting speed tech, and hopefully that'll get done in the time it takes us to make the green science. I would suggest for you to make a submachine gun or a shotgun. Which would you prefer? I think I'd prefer the submachine gun. I'm I'm more of a runaway panicking whilst firing as many bullets as possible at them guy. You know, that's that's kind of my style. I'm I'm not so much of this precision. <laughs> precision. Well, with the shotgun, you can clear out a large wooded area quickly, I guess. Well, it's not a flamethrower, but it it's will not get a the job. I, th I think the flamethrower will be the one I upgrade to after the submachine gun. Um, and I'm just going to discard my pistol on the floor here. That's fine. There we go. We'll, we'll forget all about that, and then one day we'll run past it and be like, Why is there a gun on the floor? <laughs> submachine gun, nice. Unfortunately, I've got nothing to shoot at to show the difference. Maybe I can shoot at this pistol? Is that even a thing? Bang, 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 bang. Hey, that's a lot of damage. Nice. Yep. And now we have, like, wreckage in the middle of the floor. It's exactly it, it will disappear over time, you know. It's uh, part of the self-cleaning floor system. Uh, yeah. Obviously, in this glorious future where the entire infrastructure looks after itself, the self-cleaning floor was uh, one of the first inventions that ever came along. So, in order to create green science, we need uh, yellow inserters, just inserters in this case, uh, yep. and belts, and we are making belts. So We are indeed making belts, that's good. And the yellow inserters, if I remember correctly, are just like plates and gears, maybe? I will check this out. Does this setup here, if we copy it, will that suffice? I think it will. Well, I, I think it will, yeah. It's got the... the the circuits that are needed, that was the thing that I was forgetting about. It's one yep. iron plate, one iron gear, and one electronic circuit every half second. It's interesting how it's the, absolutely the same recipe for 
inserters and radar. Yeah, that is interesting. That is actually very interesting. I wonder how many other things share similar recipes that we've just not noticed because they're, they're different things. I bet there's hundreds. I did not pick up the belts that I was after. Ah, <laughs> I got completely sidetracked by putting down lights. Of course, <laughs> keeping, keeping us very safe, but not quite doing what I was after. So we've built up a whole bunch of inserter builders here, but the uh, inflow of circuits seems to be a little bit limited. Oh, I've also got a few other things. Nice, nice. I don't appear to have a red one. I think we need to actually automate the full flow of inserter making as well at some point. We will. Uh, we can do it by just replacing the chest with belts and put, put, pulling it up here. Yeah, that, that might be a good idea as we are constantly, or at least I am constantly after more inserters. But where are these? We need to extend this one down. Quite a few, quite a few things, I think. Uh, quite a few units. Uh, at least twice as many probably three or four times as many. My only worry is that uh, the iron production is not going to cope. Well, that will just give us one more thing that we need to go and look at. I'm sure we can live with that. What is this game if not constant upgrades? Well, yeah. Before the crash, I was playing Stellaris. Finally released in its final form. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and I was thinking, so we as the player see all of the interface and all of that, yeah. But what if the AI actually lives its life as in, you know, we live it? What, as in like with the overview or...? No, 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 just we live our life, we don't have an interface, we have our own governments, a lot yeah. of people that were working on the planet and, you know, our space armies and all of that. What if the AI has that same thing? So, same personal experience, yeah, they're, they're just little guys running around on the planets. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's it, that's it. At some point, our games are going to become so so complex that that is what's going to happen. Each one's going to have its own little sub sub simulated uh, like population, and they'll yep. be making decisions and stuff. So I, the I, question is, is that okay? No, the real question is, is it okay to turn it off afterwards? Like, I, I don't think anybody's going to mind anybody bringing a galaxy's worth of conscious beings into existence. Okay, but then... But if you the then turn question, it off... <laughs> is quick loading okay, then? Oh, oh that's, that's a question right there, because they would, they would forget. You wiped an entire galaxy worth of people. I mean, basically, this boils down to the question of, did Thanos do anything wrong? <laughs> uh. Well, according to him and b the material costs for the entire galaxy, yes, he did nothing wrong. Exactly, exactly. He was just, you know, balancing. <laughs> Perfect balance. Yes. <laughs> the, the... But morally, yeah, I can I can see the problems with the. Uh... Yeah, but so, but the people that were still left there have the memories of people that were wiped. We are talking about an entire universe of life just being gone just got yeah 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 no i would say that was uh, exceedingly ethically un unviable you know that sounds that sounds like a horrific way to wipe out to, for genocide to occur you know cuz it is it, it it beyond what is what is beyond genocide galacticide uh, is that a thing is that well, a thing it i'm is now. not sure but uh, humanity will probably discover a word yeah yeah <laughs> So, um, you know, imagine, imagine back in the day before we got out as a human species and, and had a look at the universe. Yes. You know, just, just imagine that hypothetical scenario there. Yeah. And you had no idea whether there was um, uh, life out there or not. You, you could only really assume that they don't, that they couldn't be that technologically advanced, else you would see them. Until, yes. Unless they get past a point where you suddenly don't see them because stealth. But we'll just assume that. When you do come across a sub-technological species, you know, say, say a group of gorillas, you know, they're, they're, not, yeah. they're not massively smart, but they're not dumb either. Do you leave that planet alone? Do you colonise or do you try to technologically advance these gorilla creatures? I mean, I, personally, I'm, I'm wondering why we've not been given chim chimpanzees power tools. Uh... 
Because we fear for our own eyes. We, yeah, we kind of fear for ourselves. But imagine if a chimpanzee could build himself a nice little masonette. I mean, with orangutans are incredibly clever. Incredibly clever. Like, you show them a camera, they will take it apart for you. Not, <laughs> not, not break it. I mean, literally take it apart. Um, so, like, the, the, like, we must be able to teach them stuff. I don't think they could then go on to teach their young stuff. I think that's like the, the thing that separates us. Yeah, but the problem is they're doing it for a reward. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Not not just They don't see the point sake. of doing it except for I get a reward from it. Yeah. They don't see they don't uh, seek the comfort of life that we're always seeking. Mm, you know, the they're pets. gonna build a nest and that's it. They're not gonna try making a rope of, out of wood because it's better or something. Oh, I don't know. Orangutans will make hats out of leaves when it's raining. Yeah, but they're not gonna develop uh, plastics for it. Yeah, but we could teach them that. Yes. <clears throat> if, if we, if we uh, tinker with their genetics... We can teach them how to produce plastics. I don't think we, we could more carbon dioxide in the air. Well, yeah, there are obviously horrific ramifications from this, but there's, <laughs> like, I don't think there's any reason why, uh, like, say we came across a, a new planet and we were like, oh, these guys are so close. If we just look at their Cat76 gene, oh yeah, that's the thing that needs to be tweaked. Put an A where a G was and bam, we've given but, them prefrontal cortex. But like, is that is that new ethically, species then? Yeah. Is that ethically sound or not? But like, then, okay, so we are the we... only things in the galaxy. Why not? Yeah, but okay. So well, then we could go to the problem that we are basically again genociding a generation on the planet. Because yeah, we'd be wiping out the old guys, wouldn't we? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. If not that, they would be uh, wiping out the new guys because they are different. So have we basically just rephrased the eugenics question here? Eugenics being the um, manipulation of the human race's breeding program to make superhumans. The, a big proponent of it, and this is why it has a bit of a problem, was Hitler. Uh, so, <laughs> but you always need one bad guy to make it all worse. I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, we all eugenics know that everyone, was... everyone liked the mustache before he came in. Exactly, Charlie Chaplin, man. Charlie <laughs> Chaplin. <laughs> it's it's all about yeah. One bad apple just goes and ruins the entire thing. That's a bit of a mixed metaphor there, but I'll go with it. Uh, anyway, we're supposed to be looking at this iron production. So I have noticed that this iron production here is not making it any further than halfway up the smelty lines. Smelty yeah, lines. Yes. So yes. So we don't have enough production of it. No. So I reckon we. I don't have any miners on me. Do we? Have we? Uh, automated miner that. production. No, I don't think we did. I just steal it from the conveyor belts. But we spent time working on those, what? <laughs> <laughs> I am also stealing from conveyor belts. Ooh, three electric mining drill rigs. That's, ooh, cutting edge technology there. Such production skills. I see the problem. You see a problem? The, no, 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 I'm seeing the problem with the logic of the, you know, Tinkering with the genome of a species, then eliminating the old one. I mean, we don't have to actually physically eliminate them. We just wait for natural selection to take its course. But carry yeah, but on. That's <laughs> giving a gun to the new guys. Yeah, I could see that. I could see that. But as a species, they'd be much better off. But, okay, <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, the suddenly problem... they'd... They'd be wondering about their own space program. I mean, isn't that great? I think, though, honestly, they is then this... become a challenge for us, a, uh, a competitor for us. But, uh, okay, so is this just a step in making them slaves for us? I mean, you'd hope not, but the human race, we have a bad track record. <laughs> <laughs> it's It's got to be said. It's got to be said. I mean... So we have, we basically make our own tools, but that can think. I mean, that's what we're doing yeah, with the AI, I mean, we, but... We are yeah. in the middle of doing that anyway. I mean, we're, we're one shift in technological focus away. If we stop looking at silicon and go, hey, we can do stuff biologically, then we're pretty much doing this anyway. Basically, I think everybody is going to be um, reflexly 
scared of the idea for, for many reasons that, that we're going to make a competitor species that we shouldn't be uh, relegating the last people's last okay. people's yeah I'm going to call them that the, the, the original species to extinction though we could just keep a record of all their DNA which I think we so should be doing back anyway. in the two year 2000 and something yes. uh, China decided to pass a law about designer babies making it completely legal for parents to remove genetic defects okay yeah so if we have that why wouldn't parents want to do that yeah yeah uh, like enhanced athletic ability you know if you've got the being smarter getting mm -hmm. better grades the problem is we haven't found the uh, the genetic basis of of intelligence so we don't know if we can tinker in someone's genome to make them smarter or not or yeah, whether but, it's... okay so the only problem with that is funding <laughs> people will pay to have better babies yes billionaires will put a lot of money in to have their children to make to Not have only children that, countries will do that just uh, to have yeah. the better athletes during the olympics better just athletes better better soldiers. students on the on the nuclear program you know there's soldiers everything I mean, yeah yeah if you can design your own soldier, we're going back to the super soldier program. But, hmm. So, then you have the question, should that be allowed? And then again, how do you monitor it if it's not allowed? That That, that is the big problem with all of this. Um, like with the AI discussion or the biological enhancement, human cloning, right? If it's been... If it's been not allowed, and if people were like, oh no, I'd rather not have this. I've encountered this conversation a lot. People going, I'd rather not have this AI thing. It's like, it's it's not really up for discussion. People are going to work on it, whether you want it to happen or not. Uh, I don't know if you watch the Google revealing um, their new Google Assistant update. No, I haven't. I haven't. Uh, it's scary, at Is least. It? When wow. you have an AI that deliberately uses mm-hmm in a conversation <laughs> to sound more human. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's what we've been working on a lot recently, is trying to just make the, the interface more relatable. Because that's what it boils down to, is whether yes. we can in interface with stuff better. So the people there were, I mean, laughing at the idea that a program is intelligent enough. Well, let's just program. Let's just let's not say it's intelligent. It's programmed to use that word, mm -hmm. use that that phrase, sound, that signifier. Yeah. That, that a human knows what it means. <laughs> to, to to demonstrate. Mm hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just thinking. Okay. So we have that, and then mm -hmm, I'm gonna kill you all. Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 That's. Yeah, that, I mean, there it's is not lots funny of, at that moment <laughs> at all. <laughs> I'm sure there is a significant portion of the population that would find that funny. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I've been researching uh, the word that you told me last time. We well, uh, the the memes. You know? Oh, the, yes, yes. And I came across one of those, which is I don't know why, but uh, it's referencing the. 2012 prediction, Mayan prediction of the apocalypse. Okay, yes, yes, that 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 uh, well-known time when the Earth actually split in two and peoples had to try and find the, their new way of life. I, I remember watching many documentaries about it. Yes, and uh, <laughs> uh, so some people just say that uh, the survivors, you know, they say that we're all gonna die and we didn't. But does anyone actually feel alive after it? Uh, this is true. That, it's well documented on across the entire internet that from about 2012 onwards, nobody really felt like they were living as well as they were, you know? It's, yeah. Um, it's Even a, though we have better technology, better communication, almost self-driving cars in that period. Um, almost. They, they were close. They were close. They were close. I mean, a couple of accidents did happen, which people died from. But yeah, it's close. Uh, uh, to be fair, when uh, plane autopilots came through, there were still accidents, but on average, 
the planes were a lot safer, like a lot safer, not just a little bit, like 80%, 70%, something like that. But there was still the occasional accident and people always focused on that, ignoring the fact that all in all, everything got a lot safer. As um, Carl 9000 would put it, it can only be attributed to human error. Exactly. You have no idea. Well, I suppose you do. I have an, <laughs> have an idea of how much human error gets in the way. <laughs> well, yes. Uh, I mean, it's always you forget to carry the zero. Yeah, and, and the worst thing is the, the human that erred, that made the error, almost yeah. always is adamant that they didn't. That, that, that they did it perfectly. It's pride. That's the yeah. problem. Pride gets in the way and makes you blind to your own fault. Uh, anyway, I think we expanded the iron. A uh, fair bit. I, I am noticing that we are loaded specifically on one side more than the other, but... Uh, in this situation, I would just suggest uh, moving these belts the other direction. And oh, putting that's a good it... idea. Yep, yep, I, I like what you've done here. Underground belt, and just connect these. Right, I think well... we do have enough production. <laughs> I think with that... I'm going to say thank you very much, Science Officer, for joining me for this adventure today. What a rambly, rambly story with time we've had today. It's been good. Yeah. It's been good. Uh, I believe we actually did some work. We got radars down. We uh, expanded the iron. Uh, we, we, we got things working out well. But we definitely wrestled with the tough ethical questions that come up with today's society. <laughs> but with well. that, Captain's Log, signing off.